So uh, actually, this will be about the result what happens uh, in architecture when you have to wash down your feelings uh, after you paid your taxes to the Holy Roman Emperor and you still got to pay your taxes to the Ottoman Sultan. So it's about, uh, you know, wine. <clears throat> but uh, to start, uh, we're uh, going to be in uh, Central Europe, in uh, Slovakia, uh, in the vicinity, or actually in the, in the downtown of uh, the town Krupina. Uh, which is uh, located on the very uh, northern edge of uh, Carpathian Basin. Uh, the location was uh, settled uh, slowly uh, from the Carpathian Basin uh, by the prospectors searching for uh, ores uh, like silver, gold and uh, copper, which, is, which was uh, in abundance here. Uh, it was uh, colonized in uh, different waves, uh, each uh, somehow after uh, the, the ores uh, were vanished or couldn't be not uh, produced by the uh, temporary uh, technology. So it was in a, in a later age it was colonized from the new. Uh, this is a micro scale of colonization by, uh, in the in the Middle Ages. Uh, where uh, the Slavic tribes came from the south, uh, obtaining uh, the silver ores from from uh, the mountains of uh, Stjavnica, which are here, and uh, and that which uh, the process ended up with uh, uh, Romanesque uh, establishing a Romanesque uh, settlement from 12th century uh, here. Yeah. But uh, it wasn't very much, uh, uh, it, it declined because uh, pretty, pretty early to these uh, whereabouts, uh, Saxon colonization has established another settlement right here in 1238, which is uh, very early because uh, the Saxon colonization in Hungary uh, usually uh, appears after the uh, Mongol raids, which was uh, 1241. When the country was almost uh, uh, almost uh, settlement less left, so uh, and it, it was because uh, because of uh, the presence of the silver ore, uh, because uh, uh, Krupina is uh, situated on the uh, strategic uh, position between the mining towns and the southern southern uh, agro uh, agricultural uh, big background for the which uh, supplied the mining, mining towns. Uh, the, the country, uh, the town uh, evolved into a, a fortress. Uh, well, it wasn't uh, fortified uh, until until uh, 16th century because it was uh, an, an interior town in deep inside of the country. But uh, after uh, the Mohaj battle of uh, 1526, when the Hungarian uh, army was decimated by the Ottoman forces, it uh, became uh, frontier fortress. Uh, so, and uh, very one one more important date is the uh, year uh, 1523, when the Ottomans uh, took over the Srijem uh, Srijem uh, region in uh, Serbia, which was the main producer of uh, wine in the. Uh, Eastern and Central Europe, and uh, actually they occupied most of the uh, most of the regions in Eastern and Central Europe where uh, wine could be grown. Uh, here is a reconstruction of uh, ecological limits of uh, wine production in the 18th century, which was made uh, according to the first military survey of Habsburg Empire which uh, depicts a uh, different uh, kind of environment, uh, including vineyards. And uh, we are right here on the very edge. Uh, so that's why uh, be before uh, this uh, Ottoman invasion into uh, the central part of Hungary, it uh, wasn't too much economically important to grow wine here, although it was done, but it wasn't too much of a thing. Uh, yeah, here are 
but uh, as we see here, uh, during the uh, frontier ages, uh, very very big part of the of the uh, estate of the town was uh, used as vineyards, which are all the purple uh, purple uh, areas. So uh, uh, to <clears throat> So we decided uh, to uh, work with this uh, chromatic go to deeper. We went into the uh, terrain for a survey to, to find some uh, res uh, some rel remnants of the wine production and to uh, somehow uh, find out if, if, this, uh, if this map is accurate. And uh, we visited a couple of uh, a couple of uh, sites which were not uh, destroyed by later uh, agriculture and other uh, uh, other works, and we we discovered, uh, except for the old uh, trading road between mining towns, which uh, seen on these uh, historical maps, and uh, was found in terrain. Uh, we found relics of old vineyards in uh, different uh, sites, and uh, on this one site, uh, there was a there was a single single. Uh, Single rock cut uh, storage uh, cellar, which was, uh, but uh, it was almost impossible to somehow uh, survey it because it was uh, it was uh, later uh, redone with concrete and uh, just just right here there's a, there's a railway track, so there's nothing no no place for any excavation or anything. But uh, oh, these are the types of vineyards. But inside the, uh, inside the town, inside the Bolt uh, city, uh, we found out that there are there is lots of uh, storage uh, uh, rooms for the for the uh, wine, which was uh, in this time the the basic of the economy of the town. And uh, for this is uh, responsible the geology geology, uh, where these uh, green uh, areas uh, represent uh, the rock into which uh, the architecture was uh, cut. It is, uh, it is uh, actually uh, volcanic, uh, soft volcanic uh, rock. Uh, okay, so here, here we see uh, the distribution of the, 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 red, uh, the red areas are the rock cut uh, cellars uh, and the green, green lines are uh, the extended uh, modified uh, extend, uh, uh, modified areas where the rug is uh, uh, is uh, is there. So uh, as we see, uh, there are there uh, they're mostly in the in the uh, in this uh, part because this part is uh, uh, located on the, on the fluvial sediments. So there was no no place to. To make any uh, rock car rock cut architecture, uh, basic pattern of the rock cut uh, Renaissance cellars is uh, like this. They're, they're always accessible from the street, uh, with uh, on the street level or or, the, or slightly going down. And then there is a uh, uh, a rock built entrance uh, entrance hall, uh, which is followed uh, by staircase uh, into a uh, long or shorter gallery which uh, could be somewhere uh, uh, divided into uh, side galleries or <clears throat> and as you see here uh, here's the street level uh, it's, uh, it's pretty deep under the street level it's from four to nine meters uh, under the level <coughs> of, the, of the street and uh, it does not uh, respect uh, the parts of the of the uh, of the city or the, or the town the common features well, are the staircases, which uh, are uh, often uh, made of stone slabs or uh, wooden uh, wooden uh, uh, slabs, which uh, only in this one single case were preserved, on the, the other wooden were not preserved. Uh, there are uh, present ventilation uh, shafts, which uh, are uh, in the in the more more uh, 
in the, in the bigger uh, cellars uh, connected uh, from uh, different uh, galleries into one single uh, ventilation shaft. Uh, less common features are uh, water resources like uh, valves or uh, or uh, cisterns. So this uh, cistern is the biggest one, which is uh, some uh, four, to four and four meters in the uh, ground plan. And uh, there is uh, only one single uh, solar. There's uh, there's something like a niche or something, another on the wall, because there are, all of them are plain with no uh, details. Just in the sing single one, there are, there are small candle niches, uh, four of them. Uh, some of the solars are pretty complicated in, uh, in the ground plan. Uh, some, uh, some, uh, in some, in some uh, instances, uh, uh, two separate, originally separate uh, systems were inter uh, intentionally uh, merged into one uh, because we have two original entrances uh, into two uh, original uh, systems which were uh, later on uh, merged by cutting through this part and they indicate that uh, this today uh, single uh, town hall was originally town uh, house was originally consisted of uh, two different uh, houses on two different plots, but later on it was uh, merged together. Uh, in uh, in some instances, uh, there was uh, the, some of the of the systems were merged unintentionally, like in this uh, case, where you can see a very narrow uh, place where they were uh, merged together. Uh, and it, it to be uh, uh, the residue of uh, the of the way that they were made. That there was some uh, that, uh, in the beginning there was made a narrow, uh, low uh, reconnaissance uh, gallery, which were check out the geology and uh, if there is not there if there is no another uh, cellar in the front and even after after it was uh, okay. The whole uh, gallery was uh, made uh, to its uh, uh, full uh, width and uh, height. Uh, the all the all the galleries uh, are have uh, almost uh, identical uh, width and height, which is uh, from 60, 160 to 180 centimeters. Only uh, this one is almost uh, double as wide, as wide, but uh, it's still. Uh, the, the height is still the same. Uh, one one uh, system is unique. This is this one, which uh, has double two levels. Which uh, the blue one is the higher level, uh, which is stone built, and underneath is uh, the lower level, which is uh, stone cut. Uh, uh, only in a few instances were preserved uh, technology marks. Uh, which uh, is uh, due to the material which is uh, pretty fragile and it's uh, and it's uh, slowly falling apart. So only in, in, in these uh, three instances uh, the marks were preserved, and uh, it shows that uh, it was uh, made by uh, classical hand uh, hand tools uh, of uh, the Middle Ages and uh, Renaissance, like uh, iron uh, iron uh, mining iron and uh, hammer. Uh, which uh, comes to the uh, which comes to the conclusion that uh, it was made by miners of those uh, close by mining towns, which uh, were in trade with uh, with uh, this uh, town. The closest mining town is actually only some 15 kilometers away, so they were uh, actually they were uh, in close touch. Uh, there are also some other type of solars in the town, in the in the place where uh, where those uh, fluvial deposits are, uh, and there's no uh, rock to cut into. There are just normal stone wall built, stone wall built, uh, single or double spaced, uh, on, or in this one, in this case, uh, triple spaced uh, cellars. Uh, the purpose of uh, of all these sellers is uh, 
is clear. It, it was uh, for storage of wine and uh, other goods, just because uh, the architecture of the town didn't allow uh, any other uh, storage uh, storage uh, places. You can see it's uh, very very densely uh, built, uh, and comparing to other towns from this region where you have plenty of uh, plenty of uh, sorry space. So uh, here's the historical context, and you see that uh, this is only place uh, which was never uh, very good grow uh, wine in, uh, and have economical profit from that, which was never uh, inside of the Ottoman Empire. So that uh, helps us uh, the date to date the, the the expense of the economic uh, potential of the wine. We have for dating some of these only. This uh, architectural details can help us for some dating, which just this uniform portal like here. And uh, to, uh, this one portal is from the uh, now uh, already uh, uh, collapsed uh, town hall. Uh, it is uh, designed with a uh, wine grape motif, which uh, from 1548, uh, which uh, <laughs> shows the the uh, the, the, the wine grape was very important for the for the uh, citizens. Uh, we can uh, we try to date with analogy. We know uh, that, and, uh, but it doesn't help too much because we have uh, data from 1558 until uh, 20th century with the uh, surrounding localities with uh, similar uh, uh, technology marks. Uh, yes, uh, we have uh, another uh, system like this from the western part of uh, Slovakia uh, cut in Lis from 16th to 17th uh, century and uh, so that's about it. Thank you for your attention. Thank you very much.